What is happening YouTube Cowboy here and it is time final DLC boss hype as you can see we're busting out the double smelter sword so if you didn't already know <clears throat> with the smelter sword you can pick up an age smelter sword now over at uh, Ornifax so smelter sword age smelter sword obviously one's fire one is magic but these things are fucking brutal when wielded together we also took the time to heal up our summons. Um, Vengaro is a fucking monster. I went through... Um, I basically had to use... I used three wilted dusk herbs and finally stopped before he was full health. I think it was something like 16 great heals to top him off, so I don't even want to know how much health he has. But either way, we have the final boss. Let's jump on in. Let's show you what it's all about. And in this corner, we have Lud the King's Pet, a reskin of Ava. So, doing his crystals, running behind. Boom! Oh, he jumped. You better run. You better run if you know what's good for you. I'm gonna smash your shit, kitty cat. Ow! He's like, bitch, you're gonna smash what? You're not gonna smash me. I'm like, that's, that's right, kitty. I, I apologize. And l the other king's pet as well. That's right. Two kitty cats at the same time. So that is why we're running uh, two cats, two smelter swords. Oh, God. I thought that one was coming for me. I was like, no, please. Ow, God. Yeah, they're not they're not nice. Um, so, yeah. I mean, the fight's not that different from the, the first Obviously, you're fighting two cats instead of one. Uh, with that in mind, one of them will get a buff eventually. So if you don't kill them within a certain time of each other, one of them will get fucking beefy. And they are apparently eating this as some cat food right now. And I guess they got tired of me fucking pyromancies at them because now they're trying to make me cat food. How about you guys just go after Vengarl? You know, he's, he's a tank. He, he wants to play with you guys, I think. So I'm trying to kill. If I can kill the one kitty cat first, that would be ideal. Oh, oh. No. Oh, God, no. Not the weapon I wanted. Not what I wanted. Got Lud down. I'm gonna say Vengarl's been doing some work on the other kitty cat. Lud's going down with this. Ooh. Ooh. Just coming for me. They are. Ooh. How about you turn around? Can't touch the stand and and it. There we go. Alright, we are down to one kitty cat. Time to show the true power of the double smelters. If he doesn't jump in and nom my face off first. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, needless to say, and this is, like I said, I'm playing this on New Game Plus 3, so they are no pushovers by any means. Oh, and here's his buff mode, so we are going to switch back to our shield and play a lot more conservative here. As you can see, we're not even getting yellow chunks anymore. His health is still moving, though. He is going to go down. But you don't want him to... Uh, to hit you while this is up. It fucking hurts. <laughs> um, that being said, it does run out. It's not like, you know, it's not like an enrage timer, so it's not like, you know, the rest of the fight you're fighting him like this. That will run off eventually, so keep that in mind. If you're careful enough, you can... No, my smelters are at risk. Woo! 
I got up my shield just in time. Want me? No, I'm not kitty food. Go for Vengarl if you want. Enjoy this fire snake. Or not. That's that's cool too. Okay, the crystals. The crystals are good. The crystals mean we got an opening. <gasps> and there it is. Praise the sun. The double pussy cats are down. Soul of Lud, Soul of Zalin. Goodbye, summons. Thank you for joining. Let's run on through. Yeah, them double smelter swords though. Mm. So dirty. So, so dirty. And away we go. So, of course, that does wrap up the Ivory King DLC with the final bosses down. Of course, that being said, if you guys want to stick around, real quick here, we are going to hop on over to Seldora and pick up the boss weapons for this character. So if you're curious about the boss weapons, we're going to go look into those right now. And then after that, we're going to have one more episode after this where we wrap everything up and go back into the Vendrick memory, as well as providing some insight into what it all means. So if you're a, a lore type person, you'll want to catch that episode for sure. Where's that big spider at? There's usually a red spider here. I don't know where it's at. Huh. Whatever. Hello. I do have wondrous souls. So, of course, we have the ivory straight sword from the kitty cat. We kill it twice. Some bullshit. Um, the loice great sword from the soul of Lud. The ivory king great sword from the ivory king. Ilum lois from the oracle. Lois shield. And I believe that is it. Now, the only other thing, um, I guess since I have two souls, let me get two, so I have double light, double the lightsaber, double the fun, right? Um, you can get souls from the, uh, the Black Knights that you're fighting. I don't think I picked up any. Let me check. Uh, no. I would have them, they'd be like right here somewhere, like right at the end. But the uh, Lois Knights you're fighting while you're um, while you're fighting the Burnt Ivory King, before fighting the Burnt Ivory King, they drop like soul fragments, I guess you would call them. And I don't know if there's confirmation of it yet, but supposedly um, it's like you collect, I think, 20 of them or 50 of them or something like that, and you can trade those in for a weapon. So like I said, personally, I just don't have the time right now to farm those guys to get whatever it is that they drop um, from all those souls, but you're interested in it you're interested in it so looking at the new weapons of course we have the ivory straight swords they look simple enough you know you're wondering well, what's so cool about these things well i'll tell you what's so cool about them lightsabers that's right lightsabers how badass lightsaber cross attacks lightsaber two hands yeah, Pretty sweet, right? Moving on from there, we have the Lois Greatsword. They have no scaling, though. Either way, I can tell you right now, I'm going to keep one of these around, or I'm going to be using it for backstabs. Um, Lois Greatsword, Sea Scaling Dex, Greatsword of the Knights of Lois. The Knights of Lois were commanded to strike down each malformed terror that arose from chaos. They would not hesitate, even if it were their king. Of course, with a Shield of Lois as well, which... Um, 
kind of lackluster. Sort of looks alright. Let's see. So far, pretty standard moveset. Alright, well that's a little different. Usually it's a lot more of an upward slash. Is that a, is that a rapier? Rapier style thrust? Ooh, that's new. And hang on a second here. What is this? Okay, so the shield is giving us like an attack buff. Even though it doesn't say that. Or no, it's giving us health. It's health regeneration. We got three up arrows, so we're getting health regeneration from this thing. That's kind of cool. Oh, uh, I do got to say the thrust into that is pretty entertaining. That's the one hand. And over the head, followed by quick spin. And, okay, it's pretty typical. So pretty, pretty decent moveset. Be interested to see how the scaling is on it when it's all the way upgraded, but whatever. It's pretty good. Um, moving on from there, we have the Ivory King Ultra Greatsword, another deck scaling weapon. Looks pretty fugly, you know, one-handed, your typical Ultra Greatsword moveset as the over-the-head. But when you two-hand it, lightsaber mode! Boom! It does not work for the jump attacks, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, still, it's, it's a giant lightsaber, you know, like... Boom! Lightsaber golf swings. Alright, and then lastly, we have the Ilium Lois, which is an S-scaling Dex Curved Sword. Don't know what that does, but it looks like it would do something that would hurt. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, restore an ally's HP with a hit from a strong attack? Huh. thought it's like you do that to your summons and you uh, heal them up or something. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> Too much spam. And I believe that is it. So, either way, that wraps up the Ivory King DLC. As I did mention, there is going to be one more walkthrough episode. I guess more it's going to be like just a movie episode as we uh, go through and show you guys how everything concludes with Vendrick. But those are the boss weapons. That's the final boss. And either way, thanks for coming by. Hope you guys enjoyed the Ivory King.